Hi guys, Amy here, also known as Hidden Treasure Picker here on YouTube. In case you're new to the channel, I'm a full-time online reseller, mostly selling on eBay. I also sell a little bit on Poshmark and Macari. Um, today is Monday, and I had 15 items going out this morning. So I just wanted to do a little what sold video to give you guys an idea of what I sold over the weekend. Um, give you guys an idea maybe of some items to look out for. Just show you what's selling in my store. I feel like that type of information could be helpful to you to help you figure out maybe what kind of items you want to source and sell. All right, let's get into it, guys. All right, as I'm going through these, I'll go ahead and pop up on the screen the sale price and everything like that so you guys can see exactly what the item looked like, what it sold for, all that information. The first item we have here is a J. Crew halter dress. I got this at, I think, a Goodwill or some other type of thrift store uh, a while back. It sat for a while. Um, I probably paid like 50 cents or a dollar for it. And it sold over the weekend for $16.23. All right, the next item is a pair of Nike like athletic shorts for women. Uh, once again, got those at a thrift store a while back. Probably paid 50 cents or a dollar, somewhere right around there. Um, I finally took a best offer for $8 on those over the weekend. All right, the next item up is a pair of women's pants. Um, these were Company by Ellen Tracy. Uh, they were brand new with tags. That's one of the reasons I picked them up. Uh, once again, picked them up at probably a thrift store. Maybe paid 50 cents to a dollar for them, somewhere around there. It's usually what I like to keep my clothing costs at, unless it's maybe something that can sell for a little bit more, I might pay up for it. Um, but most of the clothing items that I have, um, I probably spent like 50 cents, a dollar, maybe dollar fifty two. It just depends. I don't spend too much on clothes typically, unless like I said, it would be something special. Maybe I'll pay up for it. Um, so these Ellen Tracy pants sold over the weekend for $14 plus shipping. All right, so that's it for the clothes, guys. I'm really trying to get out of selling clothes. When I first started reselling, I bought a lot more clothes because they are usually cheap, um, cheaper to buy than a lot of other things sometimes. They're usually in overabundance in thrift stores, so they're easy to source, easy to find, things like that. However, clothes are not my favorite thing. They're not my favorite thing to photograph, list, so on and so forth. They also tend to be long tail, which is why there's still a lot of clothing items that I still have, even though I'm branching out of that currently and not really sourcing clothes anymore. I still have a lot listed that I'm trying to still get sold, even some maybe a year or two later after I bought them. Um, now clothing can be good. It just depends. It depends on what you're sourcing. It depends a lot of times on brands, but just keep in mind if you're going to sell clothes, most of the time they're long tail items. So you may be sitting on them for a while. All right, the next item is a Gremlins Gizmo plush. I found this at a garage sale actually just this summer. So he hasn't been sitting that long, maybe a month ago, uh, something like that. Um, I paid I think around a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty for him. Um, and he was new with tags and he sold over the weekend for $18.97 plus shipping. All right, next up, guys, is these Michael Kors wedge heels uh, sandals for women. Again, I bought these at a thrift store probably a while ago, maybe paid a couple bucks for them. And they sold over the weekend for $20 plus shipping. Shoes are something that I will still source and sell. Um, I don't mind taking pictures of those um, and listing them quite as much as I do clothes. Uh, shoes can still be long tail depending on what they are. Obviously this pair took me a long time to sell. I think I've had them for a year or two. Some shoes will sell faster, so it just depends. But that's a good pair of shoes that went out this weekend. All right, the next item is also a pair of shoes. This is a pair of Keen women's sandals. Now these I got actually really not that long ago at all on one of my trips to the Goodwill outlet or the bins as a lot of resellers, you'll hear them call them the bins. Um, so with the bins, my bins here near me are $1.49 a pound. 
There's some other ones that I go to not that far away that are like $1.19 a pound. So depending on, you know, which one depends on how much I spent. These I think I got at the one near me that's like $1.49 a pound. These sandals were really light though, so I probably paid just a little over a dollar on these. And they sold over the weekend for $24.97 plus shipping. And the next item is another pair of shoes. These are a Foot Joy, which is a good brand. It's like a golf shoe. Um, lots of people like Foot Joy. It's a, like I said, it's a really good brand for golfers. Um, these were uh, Foot Joy men's spikeless golf shoes. Uh, these sold for $30 over the weekend. I took a best offer. I had them listed at $35. Somebody offered $30, so I took it. I got these at the bins also, so these were a little heavier than the sandals, so I might have had a little bit more into these, maybe about $3. All right, guys, the next item up is this Polo Ralph Lauren hat. I recently got this at a garage sale for a dollar, and over the weekend it sold for $19 plus shipping. I had it listed at $22. Somebody offered me $19, and I took it. The next item is this Levi's Newsboy hat. Found this at the bins, so again, it probably cost me actually a few cents um, since it's so lightweight. Probably didn't cost me much at all. Probably cost me maybe 50 cents or less. And it sold over the weekend for $15.97 plus shipping. All right, the next item is this Thai Beanie Boo Lion. Just a little stuffed plush by Thai. Instead of being like a beanie baby, he's one of the beanie boos with the big eyes. Um, I'm pretty sure I just got this for free. I've had it for a long time. I had some Beanie Babies and some Beanie Boos that I got for free. I don't even remember where from, but I know I didn't pay anything for them. You don't want to spend money probably on Beanie Boos or Beanie Babies. They just don't have the resale value. Um, but when you can get them for free and then eventually sell them, then that's great. So this sold over the weekend for 10 bucks. This next item is a Laura Geller Coverlock Cream Foundation. Uh, I got a bunch of these a while back uh, at, I believe, like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross, somewhere like that. It was kind of a retail arbitrage type item. Um, I probably paid like a couple bucks for it, and they've slowly been selling off. They don't really sell that quick, but I've only got a few left, and they've slowly been selling. Like I said, this one sold for... 11.23 over the weekend. All right, guys, this next item that sold was a lot of VeggieTales DVDs. I got like eight of these at a garage sale. No, 12 of these at a garage sale, sorry, for like $8. So I put them in two different lots of six each, and this first lot sold this weekend for $20. All right, these next two items actually sold to the same buyer. Um, she purchased both of them. She just purchased them separately, but they were two different Fisher Price vintage toys. Uh, the one is a Husky Helpers power and light truck, and the other one, I believe, was a... Sorry, I gotta check my... And the other one was a Husky Helpers race car rig and figure. Uh, these are both, like, vintage from late 70s, maybe early 80s. These were toys that I actually had when I was younger. So they didn't cost me anything to source. I just was getting rid of some old things that I had from when I was younger. And the one sold for $25. That was the race car rig. And the other item, the power and light truck, sold for $20. Like I said, they both went to the same buyer. So it's always cool when you can sell things, multiple things, to one buyer. And the last item here, guys, is this vintage G.I. Joe. He's a military police 12-inch action figure. Um, he was brand new in his box still, uh, vintage from 1996. Uh, I bought him at a garage sale maybe three weeks, maybe four weeks ago. Um, I did pay up for him. I paid $15 for him. And the only reason I really paid that was because they had a couple other things at the yard sale that I wanted. And so I kind of just was like, okay, I still think I can make a profit on this guy and kind of bundling the price together with the other things I got, which haven't sold yet, but bundling it together with the other things I got kind of made it work out. So technically I paid $15 for this guy, but he sold for $40 over the weekend. All right guys, so 15 items sold this weekend. That's a pretty good weekend for me. Can't complain. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure you like it, comment down below if you have any comments, questions, anything like that. 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to keep seeing more content like this. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you can always be notified when I upload new content. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Until next time, keep on hunting for that hidden treasure.